Hi guys, welcome to Golden Eye. Today, in this reading, we are doing a question of cash flow statement. What is cash flow statement? Cash flow statement is a statement showing inflows and outflows of cash during a particular period. There is not much difference between cash flow statement and cash budget. Cash flow statement is prepared for the past period, whereas cash budget is prepared for the future period. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India has issued Accounting Standard 3 revised for preparation of cash flow statement. Let's start. Question state which of the following would result in inflow oblique outflow of cash or cash equivalents. First point is purchase of inventory for cash. Second is purchase of goods on credit. Third point is sale of goods costing 10,000 for rupees 12,000 for cash. Fourth point sale of goods on credit. Fifth point, purchase of fixed assets by issue of shares. Sixth point, sale of fixed assets, book value of 15,000 at a loss of rupees 5,000. Seventh point, cash received from trade receivables, rupees 9,000 and allowed discount at the rate 1,000. Eighth point, cash paid to trade payables. Ninth, share issued for cash. Tenth, buyback of equity shares. Eleventh, issue of fully paid bonus shares. 12. Writing of bad debts against the provision for doubtful debts. 13. Dividend proposed by directors. 14. Declaration of interim dividend. 15. Cash deposited into bank. 16. Cash withdrawn from bank. 17. Purchase of marketable securities for cash. Let's start the answer. In the answer, we have to tell whether the following item would result in inflow of cash or outflow of cash. Statement showing effect of transaction on cash. First column is effect on cash. Second column is reason. In the first point which is mentioned in the question is purchase of inventory for cash. So when we purchase any goods for cash, then we will have to pay something in cash. So it would result in decrease in the cash flow. So effect on cash in the first item is outflow and reason cash is decreased by the amount of inventory. In the second item mentioned in the question is purchase of goods on credit. When we purchase goods on credit, there will not any outflow of cash from the business. So there is no effect on cash. So in the reason we will mention cash is not affected. In the third item mentioned in the question is sale of goods costing 10,000 rupees for 12,000 rupees for cash. So here we will consider only cash related transaction. Cash will increase by 12,000 rupees. So there is inflow of cash in the third item. So we will mention in the reason cash is increased by 12,000 rupees. Now come to fourth point. Fourth point mentioned in the question is sale of goods on credit. When we sell any goods on credit, then cash will not come in the business. So we will consider in the cash flow statement only cash related item sale of goods on credit. So we will not consider this item in the cash flow. So because there is no effect in the cash flow. So fourth item we will mention in the reason cash is not affected as it is a non-cash transaction. Fifth point mentioned in the question is purchase of our fixed assets by issue of shares. Here we have purchased fixed assets not by paying cash but by issuing shares. So there will be no outflow of cash from the business. So no effect on the business. So in the reason we will mention cash is not affected as it is a non-cash transaction. Next six point mentioned in the question is sale of fixed assets book value 15,000 at a loss of rupees 5,000. It means we must have sold goods for rupees 10,000. That's why there is a loss of rupees 5,000 as book value is 15,000 and we have sold of rupees 10,000. So there is a loss of rupees 5,000 but we will consider only cash value. So there is an inflow of cash. Cash is increased by 10,000 rupees. Next item seventh mention in the question is cash received from trade receivables 9,000 and allowed 
discount of rupees 1000 so total value of trade receivable would be 10000 out of which we have allowed discount of rupees 1000 so there is an increase of cash flow by 9000 and in the reason we will mention cash is increased by 9000 rupees next point eighth mention in the question is cash paid to trade payables while paying cash to trade payables there will be outflow of cash so in the effect on cash column we will write outflow and in the reason we will write cash is decreased ninth point mentioned in the question is share issued for cash when we issued share then we get cash so there will be inflow of cash so in the reason we will write cash is increased next is 10th point mentioned in the question is buyback of equity shares when we buy back equity share then we will have to pay cash to somebody so there will be outflow of cash so in the reason we will write cash is decreased next point 11th mention in the question is issue of fully paid bonus share so this is non cash transaction so there will be no effect on cash so in the reason we will write cash is not affected it is capitalization of profit next is 12th point writing of the bad debts against the provision of doubtful debts it is also a non cash transaction so there will be no effect on the cash in the reason we will write cash is not affected as it is not a cash transaction next 13 transaction mentioned in the question is dividend proposed by directors so this is also non cash transaction there will be no effect on the cash in the reason we will write cash is not affected because the proposed dividend will be paid in the next year if approved by the shareholders 14 point mentioned in the question is declaration of interim dividend so there is a outflow of cash in this point so we will write in the reason is interim dividend declared is paid within five days of declaration next point 15 cash deposited into bank so there will be no effect on this transaction so we will write in the reason is cash and bank both are the part of cash or cash equivalents next point is 16 cash withdrawn from bank so there will be no effect of cash on this transaction so cash and bank both are the parts of cash next 17 point mention in the question is purchase of marketable securities for cash so there will be no effect of cash on this transaction so we will write in the reason is it is merely conversion of cash into cash equivalents now that this is done if you have any doubt then please let me know in the comment section thank you